So today's goal is to win a World Series with only players that I've drafted, but I have to do it with the three worst scouts available. I mean, look at them. These attributes are absolutely terrible. They're probably going to give us mostly bust, but let's see if we can get a little lucky. Maybe get a Mike Trout, a Bryce Harper, maybe a Ronald Acuna. But again, the challenge is to only use players that I've drafted to win a World Series. So what I'm going to use is the method that I made a video on earlier in the year. There's going to be a link in the top right corner. You can click it to go watch it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to the starting pitchers and seeing which region has the most players and then just kind of scouting that. But I already know I'm not going to be able to scout everybody because one, the efficiency on, on all my scouts is really bad. And two, I can't trust the reports because the reports are going to be bad because I have bad scouts. All right. So this is what I've settled on. Starting pitchers from the West, Central, and East. I'm also going to put my positional need as starting pitcher. So I do get a little bit of player interest boost. And I'm just going to let this run for a couple weeks because hopefully I need, I, I, I just need some player scouted. And so I'm six weeks in. I'm going to change it now to international. And then probably to finish off the last couple weeks, I'll start scouting individual prospects that play a position. But right now, I feel like pitching is probably probably the most important. So the first draft prospect wise, we have a reliever as our number one pick. I, I can't choose a reliever first off though. So I think it's going to be Chris Sanchez and I'm fingers crossed. Scouts got it right. Or I could go Haywood or I could go Cabrera. Honestly, I don't know. I don't, I could go Ryu as well. I could go Ryu. I, I don't really know what to do though. I, I don't have any faith in any of these, any of these, like, is this guy going to be good? Cause I, I, I could take a right fielder. I could take a right fielder. But the thing is, I don't know. I, I really just got to guess here and hope that we get it right because these scouts could be on the dot or they could be absolutely terrible. And I can't take a reliever. I feel like I got to take a chance here with Chris Sanchez. I don't think a 22 year old is going to be this good, but I don't I don't think I have another choice unless I take Ryu and take a, a shot in the dark or like Sedeno or do I just say, let's take a right fielder and hope he's good. I don't trust any of these though. That's the thing. I, I really, I really don't. Do I take the first baseman? First baseman looks kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. I really, I, I don't like this. This is, this is such a terrible challenge. So you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take Chris Sanchez. I feel like, why not? We, we got to do it, right? Why? I got to start the draft. So now I can do it. Chris Sanchez. Let's do it. Alrighty. Pick number two was, hopefully it was someone I scouted. So at least I can have some faith in my scouts. Who is this? Ryan Benjamin. We had him at 99. That's that's not a good sign. That's not a good. That's oh, that's not a good sign. I don't like that. I don't like that. So, number three, who's it gonna be? Is it, it like it's got to be someone I at least had high on the board, right? Number four, the see that that makes me think I probably should have taken him. But you know what? Can't can't dwell on it. Next pick, who do we got available? Dan Marino. I got to take him for the name. I'm not even going to look at anybody else. All right. At this point, it, I don't think it really matters. I'm going to take Adrian Cairo. We're just going to go pitcher heavy on this draft because that's mostly what I scouted. And I I got to hope it goes well. There's Gene Manning. Get into the team. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's just go for it. I have him highly scouted. So I feel like that's kind of what I need to go with. I mean, who else did I scout here that would be available? It's just going to be pitchers. Steven Simpson or William Song? That's, that's really what I'm looking at here going, I don't trust, I don't trust any of these picks, to be honest. We'll go Steven Simpson and then hopefully William Song's there. He's not, that's unfortunate. Dante, get in the team. And then you know what, just because it's going to be round six after this, I'll see what position players are available and we're going to go from there and we're just going to take a guess. Lester Dempsey looks pretty bad. Lester Dempsey does look pretty bad. I, honestly, all these guys don't give me a lot of confidence, so... You know what? We're going to. All right. I landed on this one. So, you know what? Jim Del Gaudio gets in the team over Hank Taylor. We'll see. It might be the long play on that one. I don't feel good about this. All right. So it's the last day to sign picks. Everybody has been signed. So let's let's go see the damage. Did we get it right? How are we looking? View draft picks. You know what? You, you know what? Yeah. Give me some of that. So really quickly, let's just go around the league and see if um, any of these other picks that we missed out on were like, you know, did we did we miss out on anybody? There's Cedeno. We did we did we did look at him for a second, but where is that first baseman? What was his name? He was the third pick, so he went to the Tigers. Okay, so we were going the right way. Okay, Byron looks pretty good. We've got Ortega, 
Travis, Marcel Haywood was, was on my radar a little bit. Sam Francisco, Sam Francisco. All right, that, you know what? Kind of a nice name, kind of a nice name. Let's see, Cabrera, that first baseman, 88 potential, not, not bad, but I, I feel like we did pretty good. I feel like that's, I feel like we did a pretty good job there. Zeke Cedeno is a pretty, pretty sweet name too. Chet DeLuca. We've got some really good names in this class. Some of them are going to be good. Some of them aren't. But you know what? I feel like we did actually pretty well with, uh, with the draft. So where are we? So we've got Chris Sanchez with 91 potential. Our first overall pick. 79 for Dan Marino. But I had to pick him because of the name. It just had to happen. 84 for Cairo. Looks pretty good. 82 for Gene Manning. And he's already up to a 73. We got Steven Simpson with 88. 66 for Dante Dunn, which is disappointing. But the last pick in Del Gaudio with 97. I would say that's a pretty good draft. All right. So basically at the end of like the first couple seasons, I'm not too worried about who wins a World Series or anything like that. Just because... I'm trying to get a full roster of drafted players. So right now I need to get like four seasons into the future and get all these players together because after four seasons, we'll have 24 players, essentially a full MLB roster. So like the off season and stuff, I'm not going to show you. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure I sign low rated players to fill out the roster because I want to make sure I'm at the bottom of the league. I want to get the best odds in the draft lottery so I can get that number one pick. First draft lottery. What do we got? We got 16% for the odds of the first pick. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. And we got the first pick. There we go. Perfect. Yes. The Phillies moved up eight spots. Wow. Okay. So we got the first pick. That's all that matters. One thing I did want to point out from last season, which obviously I didn't show you, uh, Jake Berger won MVP. So yeah, that happened. And we have a worse scout than what we already have. So you know what we got to do. We got to we got to hire him. So I'm on week 13 of 14. And I figured I would show you what I'm looking like. Uh, it's it's not looking great. Uh, like I, this. This is the most I could scout out of like any any group of players. And as you can see, it, it's not it's not looking good. So, uh, man, these these scouts are really letting me down. Season two draft time, and to be honest, I I I feel worse than season one. I feel like this is this is bad. This is really bad. The best position player I could get scouted was a second baseman. I don't I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Do I just take it safe again and say let's go pitching heavy for the first like two three drafts, and then after that just scout nothing but position players and hope that we find a diamond in the rough that can lead us to victory? I don't know. I'm really torn. This is like, this is bad. This is really bad. Like, I really don't know what to do here at all. And I feel like we're we're in some trouble. So I, I feel like I just kind of have to guess and just hope that the person I pick is the, the right pick. And I feel like that's a really bad idea. So I, let's just start the draft. And, ah, man, I feel like if I take... I feel like this guy might be the safe pick. I feel I feel like it. But at the same time, he could be good too. So do I take him? Do I take a shot in the dark and say, hey, this guy could be good? Oh, this this is tough. This is really bad. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take we have this guy at number one. I gotta I gotta trust my scouts. Lorenzo Rubio. Alright, pick number two. Who is it? Let's see. Is it someone that like we may have considered? Probably not, but maybe. It doesn't doesn't look like it. Who do we got here? I, I was scouting that guy. So watch him be really good. Watch him be really good. So that was the athletics. Pick number three is who was it? The Phillies? The Phillies like jumped up a bunch of spots and got pick number three. They chose. Let's see, who is this? This is number eight. Okay. Let's let's see what we get for the rest of the, the draft. All right, season two's draft. Let's see. Did we do well? Okay, okay, the first one's good, but then uh oh. Second pick, not so good. Kind of a mixed bag here. We got 94 potential for Rubio, 67 for Diaz, McKenzie with 91. And then we had a seventh pick was a first baseman. I just couldn't get him to sign. So there's that. And then Bautista, 73, which is okay. Guzman, 65. And then we have a catcher with only 66 potential. So not the best. But I think from here on out, maybe we should start sprinkling in some more position players because we're definitely going to need some offense. And I feel like pitching wise, we should be OK for now. I think we definitely need some offense, though. But at the end of season one, let's go take a look at our players, see how they developed over the first year. So 
I had to trade for Jim Del Gaudio and Dante Dunn because the CPU act just released them and I didn't realize that as I was going through free agency. So I did have to go and trade for them back. But as you can see, they're in AAA and he went up a little bit. He's up to a 65 and then Jim Del Gaudio, a potential obviously 60 overall now. I think he went up three because he was a 57. So next up was Dan Marino, 55 overall. Okay, growth. Steven Simpson at 58 overall. Again, okay, growth. Adrian Cairo's up to a 68. Gene Manning up to a 76, which is really nice. And then Chris Sanchez up to a 79. So I'm afraid some of these guys are going to start to get MLB time. So I really need to get my drafts right because otherwise we're going to, we, we could potentially lose them in free agency. Season three, we're going to have the number one pick once again, the Rangers with a 0.6% of the number one pick. Moved up 11 spots to get number four. What luck. That's crazy. So I tried to scout more players for season three. I do have a couple, like, more position players. I do have a couple pitchers that I just kind of felt like I needed to scout. I don't know if I should take Lantigua. He does look kind of nice, though. I'm, I am intrigued. And I'm also intrigued by this guy, too. So I'm torn between taking a right fielder or first baseman for our first pick. The rest of the picks are probably going to be a pitcher. Unless this guy falls to us, I doubt he does, though. He does look good, too. We have him at 14, though, so do I go with that? I mean, this guy looks kind of good, too. I don't I don't really know what to do anymore. I feel like no matter what, I, I feel like I got to go with the safe, safe option for number one, and then after that, it's just pure guessing. So let's start the draft. Let's view the prospects. I feel like I got to go this guy. I feel like not taking him, big mistake. Second pick, let's see who the Royals take. Yeah, that's the Royals. I was like, that can't be the Dodgers, right? The Royals take Benito Varela. Okay. We had him scouted like 62% and my scout said sit like the 60th pick or something like that. So we'll see. But the athletics take looks like a pretty big dude. It's probably a pitcher, right? Oh, is this the first baseman? It is Kenny Rivera. We got to keep an eye on him. He's at three. Let's let, let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Oh, 93 potential, 70 overall, Kevin Lantigua. I mean, overall, 85 potential, 86 potential, 72, 68. Not not the best, but then 89 and 88 to round it out. That's that that's crazy good. Kenny Rivera ended up having 85 potential, which it's not bad. And then the Royals pick only had 82 potential. So I think we did pretty good. I mean, we're we're absolutely killing it this draft. Literally, all I'm doing is if my if my scout has looked at this player, I'm basically drafting it. That's really what it's coming down to. And the two that I guessed, it didn't go well. Right, so looking at this, I definitely have pitching locked up. I feel like we're pretty good. I could like sprinkle in a couple of relievers, but I think from here on out, we got to go straight position players because I definitely have like 15 pitchers at this point, And that's just too many. I counted it. It's 17. That's we, we got to get to the position players now. With the season over, let's go take a quick look at the growth for some of our players. This will probably be the last time just because after this, I feel like we're going to be jumping all over the place with like 40 different players. So let's let's just see. Like, let's just see how our first two classes are doing. The highest rated pitcher in the team. I'm not kidding. Look, actually, the first the top two are players that we drafted in the first draft. Chris Sanchez up to an 82 overall and Gene Manning up to a 79. We're looking good there. Bob McKenzie up to a 72. That's looking pretty nice. Dan Marino up to a 58. This one might not work out. Steven Simpson up to a 63. Dante Dunn up to a 66, which is honestly with the deep potential, I'm surprised. And Del Gaudio up to a 65. So that was the first year's draft. Lorenzo Rubio is up to a 67. Victor Diaz is up to a 52. I think this guy's going to be a bust. I forgot to point out Adrian Cairo from season one's draft. Yeah, he's up to a 72. And instead I popped... Uh, or I showed Bob McKenzie, who was a season two player. Bautista is up to a 62, which honestly not bad. And then Spanos is up to a 47, which, uh, you know what? Good for him. First year, we're not going to have the number one pick. And the Sox went up six picks. The Royals went up three. And we dropped to the fourth spot. We were projected to be number three. But the fact that those, the first two teams moved up over three spots, come on. 2026, which means we're going to check the scouts again, and we've got another really bad one, so only getting worse. So heading into the draft, I have my eye on one guy, and this is the only position player that I have within like the top, I, I think I've got two in the top 10 position players because I didn't scout any pitchers. So I got to rely on getting Derek Diggs. That's the only move. 
So please don't take Derek Diggs because otherwise I have to take Ricky DeMille or DeMille and I don't really want to do that. So the first pick is not him. I think it's a pitcher. It is a pitcher. I, it was a very, it looked like it's a good pitcher class this year. And of course, I, I don't need pitchers. I feel like we've got some pretty good pitchers. I might sprinkle in one or two moving forward, but I really think we've got our pitchers nailed down. I also think this guy's a pitcher. It is. Just don't take Derek Diggs. Do not take Derek Diggs right here. We have the next pick. Don't you dare take Derek Diggs. There we go. All right, that's all I needed. Uh, Derek Diggs join the squad. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mention this because as you can see, the interest on these two are really really low, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to sign them. Melton, I just want because I need that player in my lineup, just because we're we're kind of lacking. So if I don't like if I don't get to sign them because they decline me, I'm gonna go out and pick them up in free agency come the off season. I drafted them. They need to be in my squad. I need them. So this is going to be the only way I can get them is if I pick them up in free agency because I don't think they're going to sign for me. And I would really like to have this guy in my lineup. So I I, I wanted to point that out because I have a feeling he's going to he actually signed with me. Okay. Melton. Will Melton sign right here? He did not Okay. So Steve Melton, we didn't get, but I'm going to I'm going to pick him up in free agency. So let's see how we did did we do well was Derek Diggs the right pick 80 potential oh okay who did we miss out on that we could have gone with that was a position player Todd O'Connor okay I like that power that would have been nice like pitchers Ooh, DeAndre Morrison yeah okay you know what's still crazy we're what five drafts in four drafts in four drafts in no generational talents which is kind of crazy hold on Abdul Bistafka that's a name from Venezuela. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, yeah, we definitely missed out on some talents here. We definitely did for sure, which is super disappointing. Um, but at the same time, I feel like we didn't miss out on too much. Pitchers seem to be the way to go for this draft, but ah, I feel like, yeah, we could have done a little bit better. We could have got this guy who had a little bit more potential and we went with the other one instead. So yeah, there's that. Uh, it wasn't a good draft. Derek Diggs, 80 potential. Eubanks, 71. Phipps, 70 and he's 74 overall. Oh no. Oh no. Elroy Loftus has got 73. So it looks like we're going to have some like decent players, right? Just kind of like league average players, which not what you want. All right, so the season's over. Let me show you some of the players that have kind of grown the most and we're probably ready to start going through the MLB season with our full drafted team. We got Chris Sanchez, who's 24 years old, 86 overall. So I definitely think he's our ace moving forward. Gene Manning's up to an 81, which is pretty solid. B potential, so he's probably not going to improve too much more, but you know what? Still pretty good. Kevin Lantigua's up to a 73, and that righty splits looks really good. So hopefully he can just mash because we're going to need it. Lorenzo Rubio's up to a 70 with A potential, and like most of his stats are kind of all moving pretty well, and they're already pretty decent already. Jim Delgadio, I need him to pop off. I need I need a little bit more growth from him because our pitchers, they're not bad, but they, they could be a little better and then we got bob mckenzie i feel like is another one of those pitchers that like he's he didn't grow as much as i would have hoped let's start with our first actual season and the only thing that we're not ranked in last is speed which okay all right this is the squad that i've assembled out of the players that we have so pitching wise we've got sanchez obviously he is the top of He's, he's our ace and I want to see top prospects wise we've got the top three prospects in all of baseball and I think we have one down here at 50 and I don't I don't think we have any others within the rankings I think we've got the first three and then number 50 but well let's go let's, let's talk about this team so Chris Sanchez obviously our number one guy Gene Manning in the number two spot I'm hoping these guys can hold it down the control and the low hits per nine worry me a little bit and then kind of the same thing with Sanchez control Hits per nine is a little low. Also, the clutch is a little low, so I'm hoping we can we can clutch up, get a couple ones. Uh, Adrian Cairo, we only have switch hitting pitchers, oh, two of them. All right, Cairo, kind of the same situation. Like per nines look good, besides the hits and the control. Uh, Bob McKenzie and then Jim Delgaudio are are our starters. That's that's what we're rocking with here. Dan Marino is going to be rocking in the sixth man spot. He is going to get absolutely shelled, but we're we're gonna rock with it. William Nam, we're gonna call him Bill. Bill's Bill's in trouble. Bill's in trouble. Same thing with Lane Guzman. We've got Jorge Bautista, Victor Diaz, and then Dante Dunn along with Omar Cervantes. So that's going to be our bullpen. Um, he should not be our closer because he's got 27 clutch. Who's got the most clutch out of our, our bullpen arms? 
Nobody, nobody, nobody's got clutch at all. So we're gonna rock with, oh, I guess it's gotta be Victor D. The lowest rated guy has got the most clutch. It's gotta be Marino. Oh boy, you know what? Let's let Victor Diaz hold it down for me. I don't think we're gonna have too many closing situations anyways. So I don't think it really matters. Um, in terms of AAA guys, we do have a couple still down here. And then I need to fill out the roster just a, a little bit more. Cause as you can see, we're pretty thin. But what I'm doing now is basically I'm just signing every 40 and 30 overall that I can find and just letting them fill out the rest of the roster. And then obviously as we draft more players, we'll be good to go. So we've we basically just got the, the starters, which I don't want to go to them just yet, just because they're 21, they're 22. And I feel like let's let them develop and we'll rock with these guys who are, some of them are a little bit older, 23, but also some of them also had deep potential. That's why I went with the lineup wise. We have just enough plus one bench bat. Bench bat is Henry Cabrera, who the CPU released. So I had to go and sign them. And then also Melton has made it, but he's got deep potential. So I don't think it really matters that we signed him out of free agency because he didn't sign a contract with us after the draft. But we've got Lantigua, we've got Phipps, uh, we've got Eubanks, Quintana, Loftus, Spanos, Rosales. We've got the team. And then don't worry about the other guys because they're 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 gonna be bench guys. So that's my lineup. I can't switch it up. So let's hope season one doesn't go terribly. So we are one in seven, but we got our first win. I gotta see who got it for us. It was Sanchez. There we go. Held the Phillies to how many runs did he allow? He allowed two runs over seven innings. That's actually pretty good. And then the bullpen came in and closed it out. Nice, nice. What do we got? RBIs from Melton, Eubanks, and Quintana. It looks like the bench guys are going to get a couple ABs from time to time, which is unfortunate. But you know what? We got a guy hit. Oh, Derek Diggs is hitting 346. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So, hey, we got to win. Sanchez. There we go. First win. First win. This year, we have the seventh pick and there's one player that I want. It's not this guy. It is a third baseman. I want Otis Daughtry more than anything. I want Otis Daughtry so bad and I don't think I'm going to get him. So... He, he's ranked 10th. We have him at 8th. So there's a chance. There's a small chance that we get him. But okay, that's a good start. This is a pitcher. I know it's a pitcher. So he's off the board. Good. He's the whatever. That's fine. Get him out of here. I need Daughtry. I need Daughtry. If I don't get Daughtry, whatever. Like it, the, the, the drafts is ruined. So number two is another pitcher. So, so far, so good. I'll, I'll take it. Cool. Fortune, by the way, great name. But please don't be otis daughtry if this is a guy with the beard i'm gonna be pissed don't you dare take him it okay it's not it's not so we've made it through the first three picks only three more to go before our pick this one's scotty craft please don't take otis daughtry so i'm gonna add him to the draft queue so i'm i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna wait <sighs> All right, so I've been thinking about this for a bit. We're down to a minute 30 on the clock, and I'm looking at this guy. It, it's too good to be true. It just can't be true. Same thing with Navarro. It just can't be true. So what's the what's the thing that's wrong? Is it the potential or it's the overall? Which one is off? And I just I just don't think I could choose any of these guys. I feel like I got to go with someone that's like, a, like, we've got him scouted fairly well. You know, I is this the move? Or do I, do I say, screw it, might as well take the shot because we're already we already missed out on the guy that we wanted you know what let's take the shot all right for this one i'm just gonna start taking players that like i i kind of have scouted but maybe you know what let's just start taking shots in the dark at this point mcdonald ford who do i let's go with i feel like we need an outfielder let's go with mcdonald let's see what happens there i don't hate that and then you know what let's go with let's go with the pitcher here Let's go with the one that we have kind of scouted, Ramon Cabrera. We'll, we'll take that one. Next pick, we've got more pitchers. Do I take a safe option here? We've got these guys fairly like scouted. Might as well like see if they're okay. You know, like we have them scouted quite a bit. Like, yeah, their potential and their overall isn't that great, but I feel like it's better than nothing, right? Like, let's take them. Guardado's in the team as well. And then, like I said, we were gonna take shots in the dark for the rest of them so let's go with man that gutierrez guys looks really bad um a relief pitcher sure i don't really need one but i'll take it and then let's take a position player here let's go do i have anybody scouted left over i don't so i guess i could take the pitcher 
but like i feel like we we definitely need some help in the outfield so let's go with let's let's go with uh, eddie camacho because uh, i like the name eddie camacho in the team that's it let's see what we did all right we've got three left i don't think i'm gonna be able to sign them all okay we get camacho what about mcdonald he also signs it comes down to guardado please sign please sign yes all right let's go see how how we did did we do well did we do well no yes no like our first pick was 75 overall or 75 potential let's go take a look at the the rockies that took yeah that's that's tough that's tough i oh, man that sucks that sucks we were looking at poe who was the other like starter we were looking at navarro 64 potential okay mason tom thomas we weren't looking at at all who was some of the other guys craft no skinner 76 potential okay fernandez 84 potential kershaw 75 jordan 73 Dennison. Oh, he's got 85 potential. That's tough. Okay, so we've got 75 potential here, which isn't bad, right? Like it's it's at least gonna be usable, right? Tom McDonald's got 89 potential, so I'll definitely take that. Ramon Cabrera's got 80 potential. Okay. And then 67, 66, 63, but then Camacho's got 74, but he's 44 overall. So like not great. First season in the books. Obviously, the draft wasn't amazing, but 36 and 126, obviously one of the worst seasons in history it is, but 36 wins is way better than I anticipated. So let me get the roster set up because I'm assuming we're going to have some names in here like Aaron Hernandez. I didn't, I didn't realize he was still around, but you know what? Let's, let's, let me fix this real quick. Let me get the right guys in. We didn't make the postseason. It doesn't matter. So let me, let me just break it down. We do have an award though rookie of the year for thomas phipps that's what i'm talking about 29 home runs d potential not not good uh, i was at least hoping you could have held on to that c potential but 24 home uh 24 doubles 29 home runs you know what i'll take it not the best of years he's not going to get much better so we definitely need to find an offensive replacement kevin lantigua was right behind him and we're in the year 2027 like things are definitely going to be changing like i'll show you some of the current mvps soto soto austin riley you got vladdy with the brewers corbin carroll with the d-backs brandon lau is now with the rangers okay shohei is with the blue jays apparently so there's that but let's take a look at our team here so lorenzo rubio was the player that was up and as you can see not the best of seasons now just 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 wasn't it wasn't and i don't think i had anybody else that that pitched in the major so there was that but then when we take a look at the actual rotation that we've got going on dan marino you know what not bad he's up to a 64 he really wasn't terrible i'm actually pretty impressed with those numbers i was expecting more like this this is pretty bad this is not what you want to see you've got guzman who again i'll take this like we're definitely one of the like the worst team in baseball like there's no doubt about that but some four eras i'll take it like we could definitely work with that and then Chris Sanchez won eight games of our, what did we win? 36, eight of our 36. That's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive indeed. He had a sub four ERA. Like that's, that's a win. That, that's a win. You know, Gene Manning, 420 blaze it. 528 ERA. Love to see that. Cairo, not ideal. Bob McKenzie, not bad. Not bad. He's up to a 76. He's actually like really well-rounded like that. You know, Del Gaudio, he won three games. 4.6 ERA, like again, not crazy bad. I'm actually liking the growth that I'm seeing with the the players. I wish the hits per nine would go up a little bit more. Like Chris Sanchez looks like he's going to be absolutely amazing, amazing lineup wise. I don't. Th the only player that got sent down was a catcher, and it was Henry Cabrera. Had 100 at bats and was pretty abysmal. But he's a 46 overall, 19 years old. Like kind of expect those kind of things, right? That's why I was looking to find us some more offensive pieces didn't really go to plan but Derek Diggs hit 220 or 210 yeah yeah he thir 30 stolen bases is pretty impressive though so hopefully he can continue to improve Steve Melton yeah not great you know Lantigua was second in the rookie of the year race not great numbers again not great numbers but I need those writing numbers to go up like that's that's what we need Phipps you know what almost 30 home runs all right Gary not 
again, not terrible. We got we to gotta take these things with a grain of salt because they're clearly not good players, right? So there's there's some players that I'm like, you know what? We, we can keep them. Others, we don't have a choice. So there's that. So let's get to the offseason. And you guys know the drill. I'll see you guys for the next draft, probably. So the draft lottery, we were pretty bad compared to the, the second worst team. So if we don't get the first pick, you know what? This is rigged and I'm going to have to talk it up with uh, Mr. Manfred because this is garbage. So let's see what happens here. What are we going to get the first pick as as we should? That's exactly how it should be. So, yeah, I'll see you guys at the start of the year. All right. The year's 2028. Uh, we got slower and still pretty bad. So the team you know what i feel like pitching we're gonna be we're, we're gonna be pretty set i mean 89 for sanchez manning's up to 82 78 for cairo 76 for mckenzie and then del gaudio at 73 rubio is gonna come in he's gonna be our long reliever i feel like this is a good spot for him you know what we'll, we'll see how it goes and then nam guzman bautista cervantes dante and you're probably thinking why is marino way lower than he was before i've actually made him a reliever now actually a closer i like the the clutch, the control. I just feel like he was one of our better relievers last year. And you're probably thinking, well, don't put him in the closer role. You don't need that. True. True. But uh, maybe maybe we put him in the setup role. That's what we'll do just so he gets some more some more time. The thing is, like, we have Rubio, who's a good, like, good starters prospect. Might as well put him in the long relief role. Get him as much as possible. And then maybe instead, what I'll do here is maybe we'll go, like like that and then we'll have marino pick up as many innings as possible as well we'll see i i feel like putting him in the close roles the move moving forward but we'll wait and see o'neill brooks are not players that we've drafted i just need to fill out the bench because i needed two more players but our new picks in mcdonald and camacho have been added to the squad as well so this is the team it's it's the same it's pretty bad we've got two 70s in the lineup it, that's all i got so let's let's do it Oh, we've got a bad scout. All right. Awesome. Love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. So we, we've got even worse. Just what I needed. I need to get lucky here. I'm going to try to go position player. I think, you know, like we have this closer here. We do have a couple pitchers, but again, like it, we know they aren't this good. They just can't be this good. Um, realistically, this guy might might be a possibility. Like this one might be a smart pick. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take a shot at a position player. I just don't know if I have any that are like scouted well. He's injured. That's unfortunate. Okay, we've got that guy. We've got this guy like half scouted, but we have him at 18. Do I have anybody like later on in the round? He's about half scouted. He looks okay, but like, am am I really gonna take a number one pick for a guy that's like okay? But he's ranked 14th. He's gonna get taken. He's ranked fourth. He's going to get taken. You know what I mean? Oh, man. Do I do I reach? Do I reach just to like ensure that I get a good player? Like, is that is that something that I should do? Probably. Yeah, it probably is. Realistically, it is. It 100 percent is. Um, Or is it? Is it? Oh, man, this is so tough. Or do I just do I just take who like I think is is going to be the guy? Like do I just go like this guy? I think this is probably a realistic option. This is tough. This is tough cuz like this guy's not going to be that good. This guy's not going to be that good. Um I'm going to I'm going to take Snowden. I don't think he's going to be good, but let's let's take a shot. Let's take a shot. I've got the number 1 pick. Let's go with Snowden. I'm going to do it. Garrett Snowden. All right. We've got everybody signed up. Whoo. Not bad, not bad. We got everybody signed up. That's the first task. Second, I'm noticing we haven't had a generational talent in our draft or just by anybody else. So what do we have here? 280 plus potentials, but Snowden with 85 potential, 65 overall, I will take 84 potential, 51 overall for Cyrus House. Okay, basically, I it was a guessing game after the first pick. I didn't really care who, but let's see what else we got here. And realistically, I don't, who else could I have taken? that I looked at, right? You know, like maybe there was some better options and maybe there was some higher potential players, but like this guy's got 83 potential, some pretty good power, but you know what? I feel pretty, pretty happy with what we did. Like there's some good high 80 potential guys, but I, I think we did well. And I feel like pitching wise, we've done good already. We don't really need any more pitching. This would have been nice. Yeah, that would have been nice. hundred percent. That shortstop would have helped us out 
so much. So hopefully, you know, we get a little lucky and we can like stumble upon some more offense because I feel like we, we did fairly well, right? That third baseman would have been nice too. He looks pretty good, but Snowden, 85 potential. He's going to strike out a lot, but he's got some power. I like it. We got Pacheco, who's got 75 potential. So again, not terrible. 61 potential is not ideal. 73 isn't either. And then we've got 59. Yikes. 64 for this guy. I was kind of hoping maybe at least like 60s and then 84 for the pitcher. So honestly, we're, we're banking on Snowden here. He's a two in the books with the full squad and we finished 34 and 128. So a little bit worse than last year. I think we won what? 36 games. 36 and yeah didn't didn't quite make it there i'll quickly show you how bad we are as a team we are last with a 216 batting average in terms of runs 409 the next closest was 640 and then hits 1157 the next closest was 1355 how many home runs we didn't even crack 100 that's pretty bad that's pretty bad um in terms of era what are we looking like as a team a 541 honestly not too far away from the royals so small wins i do got to talk about some 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 behind the scenes business i, I did a little uh alex Anthopoulos business signing long-term deals to our future stars basically a potential players or just players that i felt like we could really build around moving forward i signed them to at least five or six million dollar deals and i front loaded them so they got cheaper as we got further in and more players were becoming free agents so yes they probably will be hitting free agency as we're starting to really come together as a team but we've got money to spend so i'm not freaking out too much it says we've got only got 55 available in our budget um we'll be fine i, I know we will so you can kind of see what we've done here i'm looking I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it we do have a league leader mcdonald and stolen bases okay no awards though which is super disappointing corbin carroll and shohei are your mvps okay no rookies of the year no none none we didn't even come close for anything no okay so pitching rotation obviously we're gonna have some guys come up and down we're gonna start to see some changes with the squad and let's see pose up to a 63 hong is up to a 68 which is good servone is up to a 72 and then 75 for simpson and then trowbridge trowbridge probably trowbridge 77 which is good we really want to see that diaz got called back up pitched 20 innings almost identical season but lorenzo rubio 78 overall there we go there we go he's improving he's getting better love to see it what about nam what are we looking like he improved that's all i'm asking what's he up to 53 wise still pretty bad still pretty bad um guzman got worse unfortunate bautista got up to a 71 but didn't have as good of a season so he's improving that's all that matters marino yeah uh less appearances so it's kind of tough to judge him and then we've got Cervantes who improved less innings though so we keep that in mind and then Dante Dante done 21 saves only one blown save is he our closer is he the man and then we've got Sanchez up to a 73 or 73 93 yeah I like I like what I'm seeing with Sanchez this was this was a crazy good pick and then we've got Gene Manning who improved even more which is good to see I don't think he's going to improve too much more though so we're going to need some guys to really step up Cairo improved yes up to 79 McKenzie also up to 79 which is which is good I'm like I'm liking the stats here and then we've got Del Gaudio who struggled a little bit more but we'll 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 get there we'll get there lineup wise I don't think we have anybody down here I we shouldn't we shouldn't um uh, nothing good nothing good I can't expect good results here Melton no all right Dante Diggs I need a better year out of you not really not really but he is improving that's all i need to see mcdonald 63 overall led the league in stolen bases with 35 also got caught 11 times good on base percentage though like he has no power but he's gonna get on base and steal bases i'm down for it i'm down for it 100 lantigua i need him to pop off and he's not he's actually regressing which is not minus eight versus lefties are we serious right now can't be doing that phipps is also regressing but he's somehow doing better. He hit 270 this year. Awesome. Awesome. I'm really going to need my offensive players to really step up. Or I'm just going to need to get really lucky with drafting some offensive players. Because that's really what's holding us back. Like, yes, our, our pitching sucks. But we have we have no offense. Literally none at all. So that's the season. Let's, let's see who wins the World Series really quick in 2028. The Braves defeat the Tigers. That, that's it. That's it. 
I, I, I gotta, I gotta figure something out because we're getting, we're, this could take forever. So we've got all my offers out and everything. Look at some of the names that I can't even go and get: Ellie De La Cruz, Yuri Perez, Grayson Rodriguez, Gunnar Henderson, you know, Riley Green, Christopher. Mar like, look at all of these potential players. We've got the money to spend too, and I can't spend it because I gotta draft these guys, and they're not even good. Man, we're not even close to being like competitive either. Like our pitching's solid, the bullpen's pretty bad, but man, this team is a mess. Sixth pick this year, I dropped five spots. Oh no. All right, so once again, we got slower, but we're we're, we're, we're getting there. Pitching wise, I, I think we're good. I've changed a couple players once again to be relievers. So Bautista is now a reliever. Cervoni is also a reliever. And then um, a couple other guys. So the reason I switched them from starters to relievers is one, it drops their overall. And because some of these guys have D and C potential, it'll drop it down to what their potential is, or at least it'll drop their overall under their potential. So it gives them a little bit more room to grow. Bautista was like, what, almost a 70? Well, now he's down into the 60s. And because he's got 70 something potential, he can grow up to that rating. You know, Cervoni was closer to like a high 60. Now he's down to the mid 60s, low 60s. He's got B potential. He's got plenty to grow. So we've got these guys here, little, little, little cheat code there. But you know what? We got to, we got to work the system. And this is what we're rocking with now. So yeah, that's the squad. I did send down a couple guys. We've got Rubio. He's got a potential, so I'm okay with him going down, developing a little bit more, and then we'll have him come back up next year. And then Nam is also gonna get sent down. What I'm gonna do with him is I'm gonna make him the closer in AAA. Get those, get those, uh, get those innings, get those opportunities. I've also made Poe a reliever. I want to see how he does as he develops as well, and then we can kind of see the rest of the team here. So lineup wise, again, we just have to go with our entire drafted pool and yeah that's that's what we've got so we'll, we'll see what happens i'm not expecting anything good like we're in season what 27 now it's, it feels like six seven it might be season seven we're, we're not looking good so remember we're not the first pick for this draft which is super unfortunate but look what the i'm not gonna lie i let the cpu scout this season i thought you know what i haven't been having any luck things haven't been going well we still have very, very, very bad scouts. Let's see what the CPU can do instead of me. Maybe that's been the maybe that's been the issue. Maybe I'm I'm slacking. Um, if I can get this catcher, I'm taking him. I'm taking him. I'm taking him. I'm adding him to the draft queue. That's the only player I want. That is what I'm gonna do. Maybe I should have let the CPU scout for me the entire time. It's not like it's not like they're going to do a better scouting job than me, right? They're just going to target different players, and that's that's really about it. So please give me Gonzalez. Please give me Gonzalez, the catcher. I'll move him to a different position because we've got plenty of catchers. But let's, let's see what happens here. All right, so they did not take Gonzalez. They went with somebody else, but that might be the move. Maybe just let the CPU handle all the scouting because, again, it's just going to pick different players than me. It's not like they're going to do a better scouting job. They're still bad scouts. It's just they're going to scout differently and they're going to target different players. That guy, I think we had scouted a little bit. No, we didn't. But the dude's got a sweet stash. Pretty impressive. Please don't take Gonzalez. Um, it's probably going to happen. But I think maybe auto scouting might be the move. That way they can target a few different players than me. And maybe that, that just would help us out a little bit. Because right now I feel like... Maybe I've just been a little bit too pitcher friendly or too pitcher heavy. And it's not like they've really found me anything. They scouted a lot of relievers because we need relievers. So they they targeted that area of the draft. And then let's see what else they targeted. Uh, just relievers. So was that really the move? Since they only targeted relievers, we got our guy. I'm going to take him. Luis Gonzalez. Boom. He's in the team. Please don't be bad. Please be a generational talent and please be the CPU that gets me the first generational talent of the entire video. All right, for the second pick, I'm just going to I'm just going to take these relievers. Like we need relievers. I also do need offense though. So like um I All right, let me see. We've got they can't be that good. They can't be that good. I don't I don't trust this, but I'm going to I'm going to do it anyways. I'm gonna do it anyways. We'll 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 take this guy too, and then from here on out, we're gonna take position players and see what we can see what we can get. So I'm gonna take can't be good. I'm looking at those present stats. Can't be good. Can't be good. Just 
just can't none of these guys are gonna be good but we're gonna we're gonna do it we're gonna take castillo hopefully it's it's usable <laughs> that's really what i'm hoping i'm hoping it's usable um let's see what else we got here oh i only have pictures the cpu only only looked at pictures oh i'm in so much trouble i'm in so much trouble uh-oh i i guess i'm literally just gonna have to guess and hope that we get something so this guy can't be good he can't be good there's got to be somebody out there that i'm like you know what he might he might we're gonna try sean siever i think this is gonna be a really bad draft i think the cpu is gonna lead me lead me down a very very bad path i think they already have so honestly i'm just i'm just gonna guess i'm gonna guess we're gonna go with we're gonna go with this guy edward cabrera and then i think i'm gonna take an infielder for our last pick we are gonna go with the shortstop alton mcmahon i like the name we're gonna rock with it let's go see how we did cabrera is the last player i don't have signed and he declines it so cabrera is one of those guys that we could potentially look to sign in free agency just because we did draft him i just couldn't get him to sign the deal but did the cpu let me down and i'll show you i still have really bad scouts like it's not like i switched out my scouts really quickly no like and even the lowest one right now is 74. so like my, my scouts are bad please 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 all right so who did we miss out on that could have really helped us a good pitcher okay another good pitcher oh boy oh boy yep yep that's this is this oh man the mariners had a draft this is not good the cpu man the cpu let me down but i thought you know what let's give it a let's give it a chance let's give it a chance let's see what happens oh boy like that's this sucks there's some really good players in this draft chavez you've got espinoza you've got gomez madsen the catcher would have been good yeah my my scouts let ah oh man my scouts let me down big time even cabrera dude oh boy like 74 77 it's not terrible like 84 for castillo not bad but he's 52 overall this is okay this one's not bad sean siever this was the complete shot in the dark good vision good discipline or good ish discipline but the contact numbers are good so this guy could help us out and then uh mcmahon also not great so don't trust the cpu to scout for you that's gonna oh boy this is not good six and 116 so hey we improved that's all that that's all that matters we improved i still think we're the worst team in baseball yeah that, that's definitely what's happening but you know what i'm okay with that we do have again tom mcdonald mcdonald at the top of the stolen base charts uh no no mvp which is you know super disappointing you know i thought we had a chance there and then no rookie of the year so none of our guys are even coming close to competing pitching rotation wise i think del gaudio got sent down again I, that's a good season like he's getting better and better he's 27 years old he's about to hit his second to last year of arbitration third to last year of arbitration third to last but that that's a good season i'm pretty happy with that we got a couple other guys to keep an eye on did any of these other guys get mlb time let's see here no okay good they shouldn't they shouldn't have so there's there's that uh lane guzman probably did wasn't good so yeah there's there's that to keep an eye on so trout bridge got called up you know he did his thing six era is not ideal but he's up to an 80 overall he's improving which is good to see and i've been trying to stay on top of getting the best coach as possible lorenzo rubio only pitched eight innings but he was solid i think moving forward he's a guy we definitely need to get into the team somehow simpson the good whip that's a good whip but um he didn't really pitch much he only pitched 22 innings bautista he's best season best season so far and he improved which is awesome cervoni up to a 65 he went up three that is a good season that is a good year i'll take that this might this might be one of our key relievers cervantes cervantes that's what i'm talking about two four eight era really who marino oh boy and then dante dunn did struggle a little bit but we're start we're starting to put together a pitching rotation and speaking of pitching rotation let's take a look at them chris sanchez regressed a little bit understandable gene manning improved which is good we got to keep getting better and better and better realistically what it comes down to now is we need the offense the offense to supplement this pitching staff because they're putting in the work they're getting some of the job done we just need some offense and when most of our players are hitting under 200 i think that kind of tells you what's going on here so i really really need to luck into finding a scout that is good at just 
scouting position players like there i we have one he's a 75 rated scout for position players but his efficiency is like 40 so like i can't even scout players quickly it takes like four weeks to scout 50 percent of a player so like yeah we have one okay scout that can scout position players but every other category for him is bad and like our pitching scouts are bad like the efficiency is really low so they're not getting anything done as lantigua does improve which is awesome still only 23 you know phipps is kind of holding his rating if he can can hold it for like one or two more seasons that'd be great loftus is slowly improving which is good up to 64 24 years old plus 10 for lefty power yep hate to see that snowden up to 66 hit under 200 though so oh boy oh boy but basically what i'm saying is our scouts are like just not good that's really what it comes down to like we do have one that does have a 75 rating for position player scouting but it's not going to do much when everything else is pretty bad bautista retired that's unfortunate i don't think bautista was a player that i drafted I'm like, I'm looking at my list because I've, I've kept track of every player that we drafted. I think this was just a guy I signed to fill out the roster because I don't have him anywhere. Um, Laura was not a guy I drafted. Neither was Walker Madden. So, okay. So we still haven't had anybody retire yet, which is cool. Um, we still got everybody in the, the, the staff. I guess we just go the next year. Like I said, the scout right below me has 75 position players scouting, but the thing is the rest of the guys aren't that great. He has 61 efficiency, but it still takes like at least four weeks to scout a player. And I was kind of hoping maybe we could have had like a 72 or 70, you know, cost scout pop up that would have had something like the 83 position players, but 74 is too good. Yeah, we got to keep it at these guys. That's that's unfortunate. So I don't think anybody's coming up on contracts just yet. So I'm trying to hold off. Again, we're we're a bad team. The only lineup change is that Seaver has come in. He's gonna play DH. Just hit the ball. That's it. And then I think pitching's basically the same. I'm I'm just changing kind of where certain players are, but we'll see what happens. All right, I I need you. I need you to see this. I need you to see this. We won our first six games. We won our first six games, and then we lost to Oakland twice, which is a little unfortunate, but we're six and two. This is the only player I want, and he's ranked fourth, and we have him at the three spot. I think he's going to get taken, but let's see what happens. We've got, what, pick four, pick three? I don't even remember now. What do we have now? Pick three. Please don't take Ryan Scadam. That is Scadam. Yeah, Scadam. I, I really need I really need him in my team. If he doesn't... Okay, that's not him. That looks like uh, I, he looks like he's 13. He, there's no Lee Lee. Sure. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Next pick. Please don't be Ryan Scadam. If it, if it is, I'm going to be really upset. It is not. We got our guy. I did not let the CPU scout this time. This was all me. So if we fail, we fail. So there we go. Ryan's in the team. I'm liking what I'm seeing. He's a first baseman. He's a third baseman. We can move him wherever I really want him to end up. But that's the guy he also looks like he can play center for any nba team he wants i don't know how tall he is let's see how tall is he he is six foot four yeah he could by center i meant point guard but it, it works we're we're good to go next pick i don't think i really scouted that well outside of this so i'm gonna take another position player i'm just i i need position players i also do need pitchers though so i am gonna see if i have someone like fully scouted oh this guy's bad I'm going to wait on that one. All right. So let's go with, yeah, Fernando. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's get him into the team. Any other picks that I can do? Quan is injured. Ooh, I'm going to take a shot on Quan though. I'm feeling good about Quan. Quan's going to be the one. Uh, don't, I don't want that guy. Um, we're going to go with, sure. Ooh, let's see here. Let's go kind of like this one and then if that guy's still available next round he's not all right now we just gotta guess and hope that it's good so let's go cameron mills and last pick we're gonna go with whoever phil eaton phil eaton i'm, I'm liking the pick let's please at least one of them be good please another issue is i don't get a lot of interest with these scouts so like i, I gotta hope he signs he does thank thank oh boy all right so um, I didn't even check to see that other guy that we missed out on. I don't really care in the in the end, but um, this guy's not ranked, so I think I'm gonna pass on him. Please let me get Rivera. 
he signs, which is awesome. I'll try to sign Mills as well. So Cameron Mills is someone who missed out on. He's not ranked. He's probably going to be really bad, but I need the player anyways. Phil Eaton's in the team. So there's that. All right. Did we get it right? Yes. There we go. We got a bunch of 80s this time. That is huge. Okay. Let's see the rest of the league. A, a, a really good pitcher. You know, a really good catcher. A really good pitcher. Okay. So still no generational talent though, which is crazy that we've made it this far and not a single generational talent has popped up. So there's that. Wow. Lee Lee was the second pick and they went with a 67 potential player. Ooh. It looks like a good pitcher with 94 potential, 95 potential for Castilla, but there really hasn't been like a crazy prospect that's come through the ranks yet. 84 potential though for Scadam. Um, that's good. Yeah. Give me more of that. We got Rivera, 53 B potential, 76 potential for Arojo, which I'm okay with. 72. Again, I like that. He plays third base, but we'll move. We'll probably move him around because we're starting to get crowded at third base. Ray has got B potential and then 65 potential for Eaton, but he does have some pop. So maybe versus lefties, we throw him in. Hopefully we can get like a season or two out of him to help us out. And then potentially I'll sign that one guy that we missed out on because he could he could be helpful. I didn't sign the guy that we missed out on last time, but we'll, uh, I think the only guy that I've missed out on and I brought back was Melton so far. So let's get through the rest of this year. We're actually doing really well. We've won, what, 40 games almost? Can we get to 40? There it is, 40 games already. And we're in August. It's looking good. So we want 54. We're getting there. We're getting there very, very slowly. Uh, compared to last year, hey, eight more games. That's pretty good. Team wise, we're still last in batting average, but we've closed the gap a little bit. Runs still pretty far behind everybody. Home runs still can't crack 100, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. ERA wise, please just don't be last. Like that would be really nice. We're fit. We're fit as a team so the pitching is definitely carrying the team still sadly no mvp or rookie of the year which sucks but we're we're getting there like we're, we're fifth in pitching in terms of team era that is massive so delgaudio got sent down he had a really good year that's solid love to see that love it love it love it you got hong up to 74 did diaz get some time no I don't think anybody else would have either posed up to a 62. He's actually developing quite nicely, which is good to see. We could probably use him in the bullpen. Um, Rubio for ERA. I will take that like second full season. And he did well. Love to see it. Trowbridge didn't get a, a season this year, but we do have a couple more minor league options. I'm trying to balance out everyone's time. So we'll see what we can do moving forward. Nam kind of struggled. Bautista again. That, that we're getting pitchers to start to finally develop and they're becoming good arms for us. We just got to be patient. You know, Cervantes wasn't as good, but he did double his innings. So overall though, 1.2 whip for ERA, I'm happy. And then Dunn is still doing fairly well in the bullpen. Cervone, okay. And Marino's got B potential now. He's been that good that he got B potential. I love to see it. Sanchez, 3.6 ERA, 1.2 whip. Love it. He's up to a 96 overall, 28 years old. We still got a few years left on the deal that we offered him. Manning, best year yet. We got Cairo, best year yet, I think, right? Yep. McKenzie, best season yet. So we're looking good pitching wise. We just need the offense to catch up. And we're finally getting some good pieces where we're uh, we're seeing some results. Obviously, Banks sucks or Eubank sucks. Rosales, okay. Okay. Camacho off the bench 52 overall yeah i like seeing that i think that was really about it i don't think anybody else has uh oh rick zimmer we sent him down but that 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 doesn't matter uh digs no c potential 68 overall at least he'll still get into the 70s so we still have that to look forward to but unfortunately not gonna see Ooh, McDonald, that's what I like. Lantigue was up to an 83. He's starting to pop off a little bit. I like what I'm seeing there. Like that. Phipps, I think we're finally starting to see the end of Phipps, which is a little unfortunate, but at least we got a couple good seasons out of him. Seaver, good on base percentage. I'll work with that. Quintana's continuing to get worse, and then Snowden's up to a 68. So, okay. And then Loftus, ooh, okay. I like that. Spanos pretty bad we should probably use a better catcher we have one we have rosales so there's we should we should 100 be doing that probably would help the pitcher out a little bit too 
So I need to rearrange a couple of these things. McDonald, yeah, he's pretty good, huh? I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing there. Diggs going down does suck. Does suck a little bit, but um, we'll, we'll shift some things around. But so far, that's good. That's good. We're looking good. The Padres defeat the Red Sox in 2030. I'm hoping we don't have many more years. Uh, we had our first retirement in James Chen, a recent draft pick, but realistically, he wasn't getting any time. So there we go. Thank you for your service. All right, 2031, and we got a little, 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 little stuff we got to talk about. A couple things we got to talk about. So pitching, basically the same. Nothing's really changed. Um, if you see a couple players change from started or reliever, just know that I'm doing it behind the scenes so that I have some bullpen arms. And then again, if you see any names like down here, um, I'll try not to use them. If the CPU calls them up, it might happen. But for the most part, I'm trying to keep the players that I signed to be pretty low rated so that they don't get chosen. Um, and then I, mean, I am just kind of moving players around from starter to reliever just, just to make sure that we do have some arms like Larry Ray. I think he could potentially help us out in the bullpen down the line. So there's that. Another player that I moved that I remember that I moved was this guy. He was an outfielder. Now he's a shortstop. So there's that. I saw he had a decent arm. I thought, you know what? As a shortstop, he might work moving forward. And then what I'm going to do this year is I'm going to let Scadam play in double A, triple A, and then maybe call him up next year, if not the year after. Because we have a full lineup. There's no point in rushing players now. Um, unless we really need a position like covered because like right now our team sucks and pitching is the one thing that's carrying us and at the same time we've got Sanchez and Del Gaudio and McKenzie all starting to hit their prime slash we probably only have like three four more years before they really start to suck I need to get the draft right and I feel like we're okay with pitchers I might need like one or two more just to just as a little bit of cover but I feel like offense is definitely the area we need to step up our game. So I really need to get lucky. I need like another, I need another Lantigua, at least one Lantigua, one Scadam, and one McDonald. And I think we're okay. That's a lot to ask for when our scouts currently look like this. So hopefully, hopefully we get lucky. That's, that's all I got to say. So let's get to the draft. Let's see what we can do. All right, so heading into this draft, I've got two players that I feel I feel confident in. And like, this guy's too good to be true. I can't trust the report. I don't trust it at all. Same thing with this one. I This looks too good. Can't trust it. Even though we have 100% accuracy, just no chance. This one, potentially. He, he's on my list. My thing is like, again, it just, it looks, you know, when they look too good, you just, you just can't trust it. And then this guy just doesn't look good. So I just don't, I don't believe it. I, he could be really good and it, it might backfire. Um, so right now I have this guy who again, looks good. I guess it's really similar to what's his face. Ryan Francisco. I don't know. It's just like, it, it, it's like he looks good, but like not too good. So I, I could be persuaded. I don't know. I feel like no matter what I choose at this point, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. And this guy just doesn't look like he's going to help me offensively at all. Defensively, though, he looks like he's going to be great. So that's also kind of why I'm like, I don't really want this guy because I need offense. I don't need I don't need help defensively. Yeah, he, it's just one of those guys. He just looks too good to be true. Like, I'm not going to get a generational talent scouted. I got to I got to play it a little safe. I'm going to go with the guys, the shortstop or the catcher. I believe it was. Hopefully they don't get chosen because if they get chosen, then my whole my whole thing screwed. All right. So trainer went, which is fine. That wasn't who I wanted. I I rare I I think I scouted pitchers for like three weeks tops. I think I was heavily with the position players. I think this is that pitcher that was like ranked number one. I believe that's who it is. It is. So who's gonna be number three? Just don't let it be someone that I want. And we're good. We are good. I don't think it is. It is not. It is not because that says Marbury on the back. Yes. Okay. So now, do I need a catcher? Realistically, I can move them wherever, right? I do kind of need a shortstop though, middle infielder and not like a like a corner guy. Do I want the power or do I want like the more well-rounded guy? I'm, he looks too good to be true. Like that whole fielding stuff looks really good. And like, that was like the whole reason I stayed away from the other guys. So like Danny Flores kind of feels like a better pick, but like, I feel like I need, I need to kind of take a, a chance here. Like, this is just way obvious that it's just not a correct scouting report. So, like, that's 
I mean, this guy does look pretty good. So does he. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Flores. No, I'm gonna go Pike. I'm gonna go Pike. I gotta, I gotta take a chance. I mean, if Flores makes it to us in the second round, that'd be cool. Okay, he doesn't. Uh, who took him? Who took him away? Was it like really? Oh, it was like two picks later. Okay, so, so he was probably pretty good if he's he was still there, or if he got taken in the top six, right? Like you gotta expect, like that's gotta be, you know. Oh, he's still around. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Uh, the first baseman's gone, right? What was his name? Vigil? Was that his name? Where'd he go? Am I blind? Where? Yeah, he went right after us too. So he's probably pretty good too. I guess. I guess any of these picks could have been good then. All right. Um, am I on the clock? Is that what's going on here? It is. Okay. I feel like this is just something that like I have to take because he's there, right? And like the other players I have scouted, like you can see, these are just the guys that I scouted for a few weeks to get it done, right? So. I feel like we got to take him just to be like, hey, hey, he was pretty bad. We probably shouldn't do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, who's next? I don't know. I feel like we should just start guessing and hope we figure it out. Because right now, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what to take. No one scouted, so this, this, this could be really good or really bad. This was the only player I wasn't able to get signed. It was Jason Washington. It was my third round pick which is a little disappointing, but I didn't really have him scouted at all. So I don't really know if he was good or not, but I'll keep him. I'll keep a note of Jason Washington, not be, we'll, we'll, we'll throw him here. We'll throw in a little Jay Washington. I have like a whole spreadsheet right here that has everybody that I've drafted. So I keep a track, I keep track, I keep track. So we'll see if we can get him in free agency, but let's see what we did. 80 potential on two players and they're both position players. 49 overall is not ideal. But 80 potential for Bill Pike. That's what I'm talking about. This guy sucked. I knew it was true. I knew he was going to suck. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Danny Flores had 84 potential. Okay. Who was the other one we looked at? Ryan Francisco. 77 potential is not bad. But the hitting stats are pretty pretty low. So I feel like we pat we, we, we did good missing out on him. Where was that first base? And what was it? Irvin was his name? Or something, something like that, right? Irvin? Let's see if we can find him. First base, first base, first base. He was he was right around us. What was he? The Mets? He did. Urban Vigil. 78 potential. That's not bad. And his hitting stats look pretty good too. Man, Tomas Rivera looks pretty good. But what I'll say is we, we did well. We did well. We, we got an 80 potential player. That's all that matters. Finally. So Bill Pike, I think that's our shortstop. Like we're, we're good to go. 61 potentials pretty garbage that's not good but 80 potential for Pena which is solid 77 for Holden it's a good pitcher to have 62 for Neely yikes and then uh, 71 for Sandoval so a good reliever I need those hits and walks per nine to go up though and then potentially that um, Jason Washington guy if we can get him in free agency so we are currently 48 and 65 we're not going to be in the race at all but we're not last so that's something 61 and 101. Let's go take a look and see how that compares to previous seasons. That's our best season so far, besides 2026, where we won 64 games somehow. I don't know how we did that. Was that even a year we had a we have a league leader? Complete games. Again, no awards, which is super disappointing. Paul Skeens just out of the MVP race. And Tom Dubrow or Dubro looks really good. Looks really good. Of course I didn't. I didn't draft him and then as you can see no rookies of the year no rookies of the year which is super disappointing all right let's see how we did here it looks like some players were sent down bob mckenzie's got b potential now ah, we might have seen the best of bob mckenzie which is super unfortunate but we do have Wan yong hong that's a, that's a that's a great name that's just a good name you know uh, we do have lorenzo rubio who is struggling a little bit i need him to turn things around because i was kind of banking on him being good same thing with trout bridge 14 innings kind of tough to judge him Simpson, I'm gonna need him to be good too. Uh, so we we need the team to pick it up. Nam is is getting better. Nam's getting good. I, I you know what? For a 62 overall, he's pretty good. Um, Bautista wasn't as good as last year, but he is still improving. So like that's a good thing to see. At least we're getting growth out of our pitchers. Cervantes is kind of the same, right? We've had that one really good year, but now that he's getting more innings. It looks like the ERA and the whip's going to go up a little bit. But the whip at 1.2, like I said, it's not a bad place to be. Dante Dunn still somehow shuts the door. I don't know what it is about him. He is, he's a, he's just a good pitcher. Um, Edward Cervone, Edward Cervone, pretty good. Once again, 1.2 whip. We can work with that. And then Dan Marino is still doing the business. That's all I need to know. 
Chris Sanchez up to a 98 overall now. He just keeps going. And he's holding it down for the team. Best season so far. Gene Manning. I think we've seen the best of Gene Manning. So like I said, our window with our pitchers is not big. We need to get these offensive players because, like I said, we, we might run out of talent. So let's see what we can do offensively here. We've got Gary off the bench. Not bad. Not bad, Gary. Spanos off the bench. Best season so far of his career. Henry Cabrera, Cabrera didn't get in that bat. Okay. Steve Melton. Best season of his career as well. And then if we look at our starters, Diggs is up to a 71. But uh, remember, he did drop down to see potential after last season. So definitely need to start adjusting the, the, the lineup. Tom McDonald did go up to a potential at the end of last season. And I think this guy is going to be 16 plus 16. This guy is going to be key. We need him to stay good. Um, Lantigua up to a 86 with 30 home runs. We're finally seeing the best out of Lantigua, which is awesome. Becomes a free agent in a couple seasons. Phipps is continuing to drop, which is okay, which is okay because we do have Scadam, who's up to a 69. He went up plus 11 versus lefties. So, like I said, we, we've got we've got the cover at least for that position. I think that's really the only spot we've got covered. Sean Seaver's got a little bit more to grow. And uh, not a bad season. We just don't have a lot of pop in the lineup. We're just going to dink and donk. A little bloop here. A little bloop there. That's how we're going to win our games. Snowden, he's improving, but I need him to be a little... Oh, man. Everything went down. Yikes. Loftus is up to a 69. Nice. Almost a 700 OPS. I, I'll, I can take that. And then our catcher is pretty bad. So, yeah. But you know what? Couple, couple positives. Couple positives. Love to see it. Let's get to the off season. Nothing's going to change. The lineup's going to be the same, except for Phipps is out, Scadam is in, and then I need to see what that Jason Washington guy looks like. So let's really quickly, let's just get to that. Um, Charles Sharp retires. Dang. Another one of our drafted players retires. No exclusive negotiations. We've been pretty good with that. We've been keeping track of all the guys about to hit free agency. But really quickly, Jason Washington, deep potential, 60 overall. That means he's got, what, 69 potential tops. I'm just going to let him sit in free agency. No real reason to bring him in. So let's get to the next year. All right, for the 2032 season, let me see. Do I have any contracts coming up soon? I might try to lock up Rubio here. Let's go. Ooh, he wants a lot of money. Oh, let's backload that. Maybe give you a couple more years. No, we'll give you five. We'll give you five. We'll leave it at this. Backload it. All right, Cairo is also a free agent this year. He's been good. I don't know how much longer he's going to be good, though. So I'm going to do like a little three-year. Let's front load it because I also know players are going to be coming free agents pretty soon. McDonald, yeah, let's let's give you big boy contract. 15 mil. All right, let's, uh, let's do that. You know what? When's arbitration hit? Couple seasons? No, let's just let's just lock you up. Let me let me give him a contract. All right. After a couple extensions, we're looking a little weird on the money situation, which is not good. Um, I'm gonna have to play this really smart. This this might be a failure. So I'm gonna I'm gonna need to turn this thing around really quickly. Okay. So lineup wise, a couple changes here and there. Nothing too crazy though. Phipps is no longer on the team. So there's that. We've got Scadam in AAA. We've got Pike in AAA. We've got Quan in AAA. A um, couple other guys too, but like, I mean, these two are the big ones to look out for. And then pitching wise, I've moved some players around. As you can see, we've got we've got some different names down here. I think Nam is going to get some more time in AAA. I got Troutbridge and Cairo also in AAA, and that's really about it. So pitching wise, I need these guys to hold their rating slash get better. And then we should be okay. If not, we're in trouble because I don't really have too much pitching depth after this. And I'm really going to go hard on trying to find one more position player to help us out. Because I think if Scadam comes up, Pike comes up, and then we can hold on to like Seaver's rating, McDonald, Lantigua. If Diggs can just kind of hold this rating and then like a couple other guys can start to sneak into the 70s, I think we can be competitive enough. Because the pitching is good enough. I just, I need, I need the offense to pick it up. All right. So it looks like one of our scouts retired, which means they gave us a really good one, which is not allowed. So Walter Fabregas, welcome to the team. Um, yeah. Awesome. I love it. It's, it's fantastic. It's the best. It's so great. I love it so much. Uh, this sucks. 2032. This is the draft. I've got quite a few prospects. I've got the number one pick. So 
I've got to narrow it down. I like the looks of all of these, um, even though I don't really trust the scouts. So we got Reggie Jones, looks solid, 19 years old. Again, kind of that like looks too good to be true feeling. But at the same time, like I can't trust my scouts, right? So like, even though it looks good, it may not be good. We got Bennett, who again, honestly, this looks a little bit more believable. So like, I kind of like this one better, right? Like it's one of those things where it's like, he kind of looks like he's scouted, right? Rather than this one where it's like, Holy cow, he looks absolutely insane. So then we've got Kruger, who again, looks one of those, like it, it might be a little bit too good because of the whole like fielding and speed. Also like the future attributes for hitting look kind of good as well. Turn wall, a little bit more believable, right? And then we've got Bayadaris, again, one of those things where like it might be a little too good. And then Vincent. So this one also does look a little bit more believable. He's ranked ninth. So like... This one looks really good. I want to believe it so bad, but I think I, I think I got it. This one looks believable. Like this was one where I'm like, I, I kind of trust it, right? Oh, this is so tough. Cause what happened with the, the guy we drafted last year? What's his name? Caballeros? What, what was his name? Caballero. He, he looked like this and he was a bust. He was so bad. So it's like, I got, I feel like I gotta, I, I gotta go with the gut, right? Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to like, I, I, let's do it let's start the draft we're gonna go mark bennett let's do it all right so mark bennett is the choice he looks huge as a second baseman he's a switch hitter i hope it's right i hope it's the right pick let's hope we didn't let's hope we didn't get it wrong i like any of those picks could have been really good we like we had like seven of them let's see who goes number two i don't know who this is who is this sam rock a pitcher okay again didn't scout any pitchers so we'll see what happens Pick number three goes to the Rockies. And I think this is one of the guys we had on our board, right? Is it? Anthony Hirsch. So it wasn't. Okay. So maybe one of these guys will sneak to us. Were any of these guys low rated where they could potentially sneak to us in the second round? No. So I doubt they get chosen. Like, I doubt they fall to us, right? Let's see where they got chosen. So Jones went fourth. Bayadaris went fifth. And then... Charles went seventh. So like all those guys, top 10, they were all top 10 picks. It looks like, oh no, Vincent went 13th. So essentially top 15 picks. So you're assuming they're pretty good, right? Kruger went 26th. So maybe he's not as good, 26th. Um, but now I don't really have anybody scouted. This is the problem. Like I have a couple pitchers scouted, but I don't, I don't really know what to do with that so i'm gonna i'm just gonna start guessing and then i'll take some of these scouted guys later in the round but that first pick i hope it's right all right so tino chavis rejected us so that was the only pick that i couldn't get to sign so let's see what we got going on here did we get it right did we get it right please be right Gen the, the first general get out of here the first generational talent of the entire video i mean what a draft then we got cunningham in the second round 77 potential 81 potential for clipper johnson i didn't have this guy scouted at all that was a complete guess in the dark 64 72 62 potential i will take that let's take a look at some of the other guys by 84 potential so we wanted that honestly he looks good he looks really good he looks like a really solid pick so i wouldn't have been upset with that one who else? Oh, that looks like some really good picks in this draft. Holy cow. Yeah. There was a second generational talent in Hirsch. Oh, so this, this draft was kind of juiced. Um, Spanos was a first baseman. Didn't even have him on the radar. Rock went number two. Yeah. Ho holy cow. They got two crazy. Holy cow. This draft was insane. Oh, man. The Red Sox sucked it up on this one. Um, let's see what else we got. Who else were we looking at? The Blue Jays did fairly well with their draft. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Reggie Jones. So we had him. We were looking at him. Again, not a bad pick at all to have. Clifford Prater, Vinny Cruz, another 99 overall player, 19 years old or 99 potential player, Fred Dodson. John Vincent was another player, 64 overall, 87 potential. So again, not bad. Not bad if we would have went with him. Eric Charles, 87 potential again. Some really good picks we had. Kruger was at 80 potential, so he was like the worst of them. But even still, like this draft class was stacked. Turnwall, 88 potential. 
like we really couldn't have gone wrong with any of the guys we were looking at 91 potential for alfonso we didn't look at him but 99 potential 18 years old a generational talent mark bennett switch hitter six foot four i'm probably gonna move him to a different position because we've got first and like third locked up but a good reliever to help us out with the attributes i like the high walks per nine the high hits per nine we've got another potential first baseman in clifford johnson six foot one maybe move him to like second base but the power is there i like this and then cheney again has the stats i like so generational talent in the books we won the most games we've ever won 71 we're making it we're making it we're making it up the ladder chris sanchez most strikeouts and innings pitched Holy cow, Pedro Cabrera looks insane, but he's not part of our team. Next up, awards. Still no awards, which is super disappointing. I don't even think we had a rookie to like look at. I don't, maybe, but um, looking at the pitching, let me tell you, we had some good ones. Bob McKenzie might've just proven to me that he is our long reliever. He was nasty. Trowbridge came up, 20 innings pitched, pretty solid. Cairo came up, wasn't good, so we're not gonna talk about it. Bautista though, I feel like we, we, we've got a little unsung hero. You know, like I feel like three seasons now, he's been pretty good. Cervantes, we need him to be a little bit better, but Cervantes and Bautista are basically the same guy. Just one grew out their beard, the other one didn't. Um, Mopo wasn't good, wasn't good, but he's improving. He's only a 69, so he's got time to go. Cervoni, Cervone, whichever it is, he's looking solid as our setup guy. And then Dan Marino, blue 14 saves. So he might not be the closer moving forward. Maybe Cervoni. Who's got the pitching clutch? Who can I trust? Maybe Mopo? Uh, maybe Cairo? Do we make him a, a closer? I don't know, but Sanchez, 99 overall, our first 99 overall player. Honestly, he was our first 90 player. Rubio is our second 90 player. And I mean, look at Chris Sanchez. How did he not win the Cy Young? Who took it away from him that he didn't win it? Paul Skeens, Rhett Lauder, Cade Horton, all of them get out. This is Chris Sanchez's award. That's garbage. It was because of his what? Rec no, that's it's Chris Sanchez's award. It's his award. Give it to him. He's uh, a free agent fairly soon, so we need to figure this team out. Because if I lose Chris Sanchez, we're in a lot of trouble. Uh, Lorenzo Rubio was really good, really good. First season as a starter, he's been, yeah, he came in and proved me. Like he was like, hey, I should have been starting this whole time. Gene Manning is still regressing, which is super disappointing. That might, that might be it. Might be it for Gene Manning. Del Gaudio is still going up at 30 years old. He had a really good season. And then uh, William Nam got called up, but he was all, always in AAA. So he's still going up, which is good to see. And then we've got Simpson, who had a couple, couple games. Honestly, not bad as a starter. And then Hong is up to an 80, which looks really good. So I'm going to keep an eye on him. He probably will pitch for us next year because he's out of options. So there's that. And then Dunn also pitched 20 innings. Was, was, wasn't bad. Wasn't bad. I've, I've got my eye on a couple guys. I'm, I'm keeping my eye on a couple guys. We should be good. Lineup wise, we have Phil Eaton. I put him in versus lefties because of that lefty power. And it didn't go great. So there's that. Um, Gary kind of sucked. He's not really getting many at-bats though. Henry Cabrera, Cabrera got 50 at-bats. And then Melton also sucked. Which is expected. But I will point out. Bill Pike is up to a 74, which is good, but Scadam is also up to a 74, so he will be our first baseman next year. I don't have anybody else to point out, but we did get that generational talent who will slot in at second base, which is perfect. So we've got a new first baseman, a new second baseman, and then potentially a new shortstop. This team will all be in the 70s besides our catcher, which actually, hold on, Rosales will go to catcher so he'll be close to a 70 so that's that's a good thing but let's look at our team Seaver hit 270 I mean and a 350 on base percentage that is what I need at the leadoff spot and then McDonald right behind him yes he he kind of regressed a little bit wasn't as good as last season but it was still really good Lantigua is continuing to put up really good numbers Diggs we took him out of the leadoff spot put him a little bit lower in the lineup great season love to see it you know Loftus is improving Quintana, like 14 home runs. Can't complain about that. Snowden is getting better, slowly but surely. I kind of need him to be less slow and sure and just like start hitting home runs. That's what I need him to do. Richie Rosales has just been kind of doing his thing. Same thing with Spanos. But realistically, it's going to be like this. Scanum's going to come here. Um, Pike is going to be here and we'll be good. And then um, Loftus sadly gets taken out of the lineup, which 
we might hold on. Yeah, I think maybe maybe like Diggs gets taken out. I don't know. We'll we'll figure something out. But we'll we'll have close to an all seventy lineup, which is awesome. Pitching is holding it down. What are we ranking as a pitching team? Batting average, we're not last batting average wise. We're not last in runs. What about home runs? Probably still last. Yeah, we're, we're closing the gap though. Closing the gap. Pitching wise, what are we looking like as a team? We're top three. We just need that offense to step it up and we're, we're definitely a postseason team. Like we're not even the worst team in baseball anymore, I don't think. We're not. The Braves and the Phillies are. And also the Mariners and Blue Jays along with the Red Sox. So we're moving up. I just need better offense and we've got two three four guys joining the team soon and all chicago world series i'm feeling good about this next year trout has finally retired with 600 home runs bryce harper fell short of 500 he had 462 but both of them are hall of famers figured i'd point those two out all right we're starting to get players hitting free agency so these two have not accepted the offers that i gave to them um also steve melton has not joined the team so there's that all right so tino chavis is available like he's got speed he's 51 overall i'll i'll sign him up just so that we have him in the team but uh probably not going to use him but at least he's a cheap option to fill out the roster because like i said we are going to start to get a little tight with the budget unfortunately so i i gotta figure it out like chris sanchez is about to probably demand a max contract lantigua is probably going to get close to a max contract too i'm really going to need to find some money we're still ranked 30th, 13th in pitching, but like, I feel like we've got a good team. Like, we've got a couple guys down here too. Like, I know, I know, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on them, but like, this team looks stacked. I feel like Bob McKenzie should probably start, huh? But his best season has been out of the bullpen, so maybe we just rock with these guys. Uh, Hong has been called up. He's in the bullpen. Uh, I needed a lefty, so we're going to rock with him there. But other than that, same bullpen. Everyone's looking the same. Starting rotation, looking pretty solid and then look at this lineup 280s are who are we this is a brand new team mcdonald's almost an 80 the only person that's not a 70 is our catcher which not ideal but this team's kind of good and we still have um clifford down here we've got a couple other guys that like like castillo's got b potential but i don't think he's gonna hit anything i don't i don't think he could hit water if he fell out of a boat um kwan is there but um, I'm, I'm really banking on just what we have just popping off and hopefully we can like come close to the playoffs. Maybe, um, I can't afford Lantigua's contract because I gave Sanchez a big boy deal. We might be in trouble. If we lose Lantigua, we might be, um, screwed. Uh, I paid Gene Manning money and, uh, he's not even in the team right now. So there's that same thing with Cairo. Uh, that's just bad management on my part. So I'll figure out what I'm going to do with them. Um, I'm, I might have to trade them away just to open up some money, which is a stupid thing. It might have to happen though. So let's see what we can do. We have pick number four. I've got two players in mind. Uh, pick number six. I lied. We have pick number six. I've got Fletcher Cozart. Ah, we'll see. And then uh, Chad Banks. Looks too good to be true. So realistically, I'm looking for Fletcher Cozart to make it to me at pick number four. If we can get that, we're golden. Um, get another offensive piece. We'll be solid. And then we'll figure out the whole money situation. Cause I'm, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Jimmy McWilliams. I like the name goes to the blue Jays who had the number one pick. Oh man. I, I feel like we might be in trouble. Like, I feel like I'm going to have to get rid of like Gene Manning or somebody, which I probably should just call him up and use him. See how he does. Um, and we'll go from there. Cause we have like what? 10 million on him. And then Cairo's another 10 mil which would open up enough for Lantigua. So I gotta, I gotta figure that out. But our pick is coming up here. The Mariners are gonna choose Ramon Vera. Please let me get who I want. He's available. Chad Banks did get chosen, so he's probably pretty good then. But I'm just gonna take Cozart. I'm gonna see what happens. Hopefully he's good. Otherwise, that sucks. Um, I'll take Pedro Diaz too, sure. And then let's see what we can get. All right, so I'm going to make a, a, a team better. I'm going to give them Gene Manning. He is still regressing. So I'm as good as he probably will be. I, I just don't have a use for him. Uh, our our rotation stacked. He's regressing. That's a big thing. And uh, I just feel like if we're going to have a guy that's regressing, probably shouldn't be paying him 14 mil. Um, another guy that we got to keep our eye on is Cairo. 
because we're also paying him quite a bit. How's he doing in AAA? Not great. So I'm probably going to see if I can open up that money too because I need to pay Lantigua. He is our main offensive threat. So I'm going to pick up Bo Paul and you're going to be like, whoa, this is now not a draft only rebuild. You know what? I don't care. All right. I need this money off the books. I thought Gene Manning was at least going to hold his rating. He did not. And uh, I'm not going to use Bo Paul. That's essentially what's what's happening here. I'm not going to use him. I, I feel like that's okay, right? I'm not going to use the player. I'm only using players that I drafted. I just made a small, poor financial decision. We've all been there. We've all done it. This was mine. And it, it was just 14 mil. So you know what? It's like a... It's... Yeah, you get it. All right. We're going to pick up Cletus Pruitt. Cairo's got to go. That's... That's... It's just I need money. I need money. I still can't afford Lantigua. All right, so our pick sucked. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that that happened. Um, who was the pitcher that we did not pick? That that's really what it comes down to. Who was it? It went to the. I think he went before us or after us. So does it really matter if we would have gotten him anyways? Let, let, let's let's see if I can even remember his name now. Jimmy McMill McWilliams was the first pick. I remember that. I don't remember the person's name at this point. Who was it? There's some good picks that I missed out on, so that sucks. Um, is anybody like close to being like MLB ready? Not really. That's that sucks. Um, we're currently 52 and 53, so we're in the playoff hunt. We're three games out of the division. We have almost a wild card spot. We're like we're still fighting for one. I, I feel like this is a playoff team. Like if you see what we're putting up, like we're we're putting up playoff numbers. I mean, some bullpen arms are not the best. But the lineup and everything, they're they're getting the job done. Like I I gotta find money to pay Lantigua, man. He's so good. He's so good. Um, yeah, I I gotta find money. I I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I I can't. As you can see, I I can't. I can't even backload it. Um, can I front load it? Maybe if I go like 10 years, 14 years in the future, can I front load it? I can't. Nope. No, all right, we, we we might be in trouble. So we won 86 games, won the division. We're taking on the Rockies. Holy cow, 86 and 76. We're not the worst team in baseball anymore. We're actually ranked 26. We're ranked 26th, 21st in contact, 22nd in power, third in pitching, third. And then the rest of the league like that. So as you can see, we're pretty good. We're pretty good stats wise, team rankings wise. We are batting average 18th. I will take that. I will take that. Runs wise, let's see what we got here. Uh, we we're pretty bad, 21st. But it doesn't matter. Uh, we're not last in home runs anymore. And then pitching, we were ranked third in pitching. So like, let's go and see. Second for ERA. Awesome. Love to see it. We have a league leader, Rubio with wins and ERA, and Lantigua with hits. You've got Acuna at 35, still popping off for a 324 average. Soto is 34 as well. 577 home runs, 400 for Acuna. What else do we have here in terms of like other players? Drew Jones, 29 years old. Okay. Ellie De La Cruz at 31. Kind of see the numbers that he's been putting up. All right. Okay. And then we have an award. We have an award for the very first time. What's it going to be? Rookie of the year, Mark Bennett. Okay. That's... That's fair. And then Lantigua is the MVP candidate third place, though. That's tough. Uh, Juan Soto looks like he's just been running away with it. Tyler Soderstrom wins it on the other side. Cy Young, we do have Rubio there. But Randall Cortez and Paul Skeens beat him out. Okay. Any other areas? Oh, both players with the rookie of the year. Okay. And they had really identical stats. Like to see that. Like to see that. Okay. So... I have a feeling like this is going to be changed a little bit. That just means someone got sent down. I don't mind having that extra arm up. Um, we did get rid of our two best like backup pitchers. So it looks like it didn't really matter though. Like Bob McKenzie has been holding this down. He is also a free agent though. So like, like I said, we're in trouble money wise. It's not good. William Nam Bautista. Talk about a guy who started out as a started out as a starting pitcher. We moved him to the bullpen, and he's just been a solid piece for us. Cervantes, he was a reliever the whole time. Solid, solid season. Poe, got better. Like to see that. Hong, first full season. Not a reliever, but he came in, got the job done, can't complain. Dan Marino, talk about an unsung hero for us. He's been blowing a lot of saves lately, but I mean, hey, 
he knows how to throw it. And then we got Cervone, who became our closer and got it, got it done with 46. So Chris Sanchez, we've seen the best of him. But you know what? I'm really happy with what he put up. You got Lorenzo Rubio, got his second full season as a starter. Probably should have been a starter the whole time. I mean, look at the numbers he's putting up. It's insane. He's a 93 overall. Chris Sanchez, 98. Love it. Del Gaudio, up to an 89. He put up a pretty strong season too. Like it, like it. We've got Troutbridge, not too bad there. And then Steven Simpson got his first or his second full season. Pretty good. So you can kind of see the overalls of everybody i'll kind of highlight them because like we made the postseason it took a while but we made the postseason you can kind of see the relievers as well so cervone was a starter marino was a starter and you know they've been really good bullpen pieces for us and i feel like we've got a really good team here i might send down nam just because i don't want pitch him pitching in the postseason but so far so good all right let's take a look here spanos on the bench whatever loft this was probably our main bench piece and um, it's okay you know like he was a bench bat got it done you know gary got a couple more at bats but didn't really do much with it and then we got clifford johnson who got called up power numbers weren't there but overall not a bad season three 306 36 at bats not bad so he was chosen over eaton okay I, I don't hate that move. I don't hate that move. All right, starters. So Sean Seaver, not as good, but he did have 10 triples. So I might take him out of that leadoff role. He's up to a 73. I mean, the contact numbers are there. Probably won't improve too much more. I don't hate it. Um, we've got Tom McDonald up to an 82. Had a really good season, almost a 350 on base percentage. Awesome. We've got Mark Bennett, rookie of the year. Just shy of an 800 OPS, but hey, 20 home runs, 31 doubles. Look at what Lantigua was putting up. He's 27 years old, hitting the prime of his career. I, I And I'm probably going to have to let him walk in free agency. We've got Derek Diggs. Hey, he's getting better and better. Love it. You'll see Lantigua's stats there. He looks insane. He looks so good. Holy cow. You got Bennett's numbers as well. You've got McDonald. He's improving. Let's see what else we got. Bill Pike. Okay. Like to see that. He hit 30 doubles, 14 home runs. Had a pretty good season. Scadam, yes. Give me more of that. What's Scadam looking like? He hits lefties. He matches against lefties. Rosales finally hit 70. He's just been here the whole time getting the job done as our, our catcher. And then Snowden. You know what? I'll take it. Best season yet. He's improving. Love to see it. So the team is still looking pretty good. We'll, we'll fill this spot in so we don't get that, that notification of, oh, well, your lineup's not good to go. Well, it is now. All right. We're taking on the Rockies. Let's take a quick little peek at what they got going on colton Kowser, adele amador okay who else who else just names otis daughtry i wanted him and they took him from me and he's only been in the league for two seasons okay i remember that name for sure any other grover redman that's a name i like the name they've got an interesting team i don't know i feel like our team can do it all right first official postseason appearance i've got the three guys that i probably want starting every series that's a good start with sanchez and rubio closes it out we're taking on the braves now all right let's see what they got waldrip okay real life pick for them jr richie nick frasso schwellenbach and nate wright and then you've got the rest of the team here who like it looks okay but like pitching wise i feel like we can definitely compete lineup wise what do they have for them so they still have Acuna they got Drew Gilbert okay Tamar Johnson Peter Dennis okay I don't know I'm, I'm feeling good about it obviously our pitchers are gonna have to move a little bit so maybe like like this Rubio Del Gaudio and then Trowbridge will probably be the last guy we rock with I feel like that's pretty good right Trowbridge is game one that's not not what I wanted I want everybody moved oh that's right oh wait no no no, no. so hold on so this should be Del Gaudio because he hasn't pitched yet. Then it'll be Sanchez, Rubio, Simpson, Trowbridge. Yes, right? Yes, because Del Gaudio didn't pitch. Perfect. All right, Del Gaudio, I need you to start us off with the win away from home. He does it. Then Sanchez back to back seven run games from the offense. We lose the third and we win the fourth. We're moving on to take on the Giants or the Dodgers. It's gonna, of course, it's gonna be the Dodgers. Why wouldn't it be? All right, let's see what the Dodgers got. Neely, Matos, Lux, Varga. Uh, their offense doesn't look that great. I'll say that. 
The pitching though, Sheehan, Marco Raya, Miller, pitching looks pretty good. Pitching looks pretty good. The offense though, our offense definitely competes with theirs. All right, pitching wise, I think we just move everybody up again and we should be good. I need the pitchers to step it up though. I really do. I can't be having a 6-3 ERA on my rotation. All right, we got to win one of these two. And this Marco Raya guy, I'm covering it, 37.8 ERA. So I'm feeling good about that game at least. We win it. All right, perfect. And then we lose. We win. Simpson wins. We're one game away. And we've got our two best pitchers here. We're taking on the Astros or the Twins. It's going to be the Houston Astros. Let's see. Uh, actually, let's let's do it this way. Let's just take a look at their lineup. Houston Astros. What do they have? Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. This offense is nutty. Jeez. <laughs> What's their pitching like? Bryce Miller, Chase Patty, Drew Dudek. Yeah, okay. This team is insane. Are we serious? Hold on. Who was who was this? Derek Diggs? No, no, it was not not my team. Uh, who was who was this? Hold on. Who was it? I saw it. who was it over? I don't remember now. Uh, what? All right. So we got the top of our rotation going. Rubio Trowbridge. Ah, man, I I guess that's what we do. Maybe Del Gaudio pushes up a game. We go like that. Oh. This team's their, their team's crazy. Let's see what the lineup's looking like as we're in the World Series. Seavers having a good postseason. McDonald, not so much. Bennett is, which is awesome. Lantigua is. Diggs is not doing too bad. Pike's not doing too bad either. Scadam, Rosales, and Snowden. So with McDonald kind of struggling versus righties, I might drop him down a little bit. And maybe we go with maybe like Diggs moves up just a little bit. Maybe just move him down to the five spot will be fine. And we go like that. I think that's what we rock with. I am I feel like that's the best we can do. Like this is going to be a tough matchup. Alrighty. We got to do it. That's a good start. That's a great start. Not a good one. Del Gaudio, I need you here. We're one game away from a World Series. The underdogs, the Pittsburgh Pirates. At home, we got to rock something cool. Um, yeah, I, that fitting. I like it. At PNC Park, we're going to have the one, the only, Chris Sanchez take the mound. This is for all the marbles. Can we do it? Not a good start. Not a good start. But we get out of the inning there. Let's see the offense in action for the very first time. I got to I gotta see some runs, guys. That's a good start. Gets on base. Not what you want to see. First and second with one out. Scadam brings him in with the RBI double. The two RBI double. Double play there. Okay. Okay. Chris Sanchez doing the business. That's all we got to see. Another walk. First and second for Pike. One run was thrown out. Okay, but we do get one. Scadam, can he do it again? He strikes out. But that's okay. We do get an insurance run. It's three to nothing. I'm feeling good about the team. The offense is starting to fly a little bit. Couldn't get the run in there. All right. Stolen base, a walk, a strikeout. I got to take him out. Okay. Um, a lefty's up. No, I wanted Hong, not Poe. But he gets us out of it. Poe gets us done. I like it. I like it. McDonald. Oh, I didn't. McDonald, 73 speed. I think I knew that, but like I didn't really know that. First and second, we've got some speed on. Scadam strikes out. Rosales gets out. And Snow, not not the part of the lineup you really want in that situation, but oh well. Mm. Okay, okay. Let's go. Where are we? Um. Let's hope Bautista can do it. Oh, ho, 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 he did it. He got us out of that. It's a one run game though. I need the bullpen to hold it down or I need an insurance run and talk about the guy to do it. Kevin Lantigua. Okay. Again, lefties are up. So this is where I want to go to Hong and please get us out of this. Please. A pop-up's good. We'll go to the righty to face Bo. We're going to go to the setup guy. That's actually the closer, but that's okay. That's okay. 
strikeout, a pop up, a walk, no run scores. It's down to Cervoni, a fly out, a walk, a walk, a walk. All right, he's done. This is too much. I, I let him go too far. Dan Marino coming in. I was going to hop in. I didn't expect the double play. Chris Sanchez, three hits, nine strikeouts, over five and two thirds. There it is. Awards. Lantigua, MVP. Yep. Four home runs, 10 RBIs, a 412 average. I mean, this is the team. Once again, here we go. We got Sean Seaver. Derek Diggs. Derek Diggs, low key, was kind of good at the end. Like the last two seasons. Hey, just got to give him time. He's still 24. Bennett. Only got one season with him, but the general, generational talent made a huge difference. Gave us that bump in offense. Lantigua, superstar, superstar. He is 100% a superstar. McDonald, huge. Pike came in, helped us out, gave us, you know, a couple extra RBIs. You know, like that's what we really needed. Scadam, same thing. Towards the bottom half of the lineup, got the job done. 14 stolen bases too. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Rosales was like low key, just getting it done behind the plate. Okay, defensively, can't complain about that. Snowden was getting better. I mean, the team as a whole got it done, but you know what was the super, the superstars of the 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 whole rebuild was Chris Sanchez, Rubio, the pitching, holding it down. You had Dan Marino doing it for a little bit, Cervoni doing it for a little bit, and there is the draft only rebuild with terrible scouts. Any other draft only challenges? Let me know down below, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the video that's popping up on screen now. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.